This is a robot I built several years ago. It was a very fun and rewarding process. I'm very happy with how it turned out, but of course there were time and design constraints, so it could have been better. Please excuse the mess in the background. I lived in a dorm and we only had 180 square feet. My roommate was not very clean. The purpose of this robot is to drop marbles in a manner that cannot be achieved by hand. Six marbles are released from the exact height at precisely the same time. Then the robot also collects the marbles and rolls them for another cycle. If marbles of varying weights but similar size are used, then this robot will demonstrate that acceleration due to gravity is not a function of mass. One of those physics class demonstrations. Let's watch that again, but horizontally. The astute viewer will notice that while the goal of this robot is ostensibly met, there is a flaw with the design. The marbles start at the same height, but hit the ramp at different heights. The solution would have been to make the ramp flat and collect the marbles a different way, but I had no more microcontroller output pins left. Here is the electrical diagram. The Arduino controls everything. Three bi-directional motors are used in one single directional. There are only three limit switches because of the Arduino pin shortage. It was more difficult to implement, but also more fun to solve the challenge. This is the bill of materials. I tore apart two printers and a medical laser for some of the parts. Many of the components were custom machined by me. When including individual wires and sheet metal, there are over 500 parts. Here is the code in C. The vast majority of timing had to be written in instead of reacting to input signals. This required a great amount of trial and error trying to figure out the milliseconds. These few photos will show some of the behind the scenes stuff. Here, one of the legs is being machined. Here, all the relays are being pre-assembled and tested. Here, the electrical box is being assembled. The ribbon cable was a very good choice for organizing the wiring. And here, the assembled unit. I will end this video with a quick troubleshooting sequence. 